Hello, hello, and welcome to Quackleb, and today we're playing Sorcerer by White Wizard Games. This is a fascinating deck, I guess, combination game, mm -hmm. deck construction game in a way. You're going to be taking a, uh, a character, you're going to be mixing it with a domain, a location that they come from, and then you're going to be mixing it again with a lineage, so their school of thought, their magic use that they've been having. You'll combine that into a personality, mm -hmm. and then you'll go to war in different parts of downtown London. So this is a competitive card game, mm -hmm. but the interesting is that instead of just playing in a single area, you're playing in, as you said, in multiple locations simultaneously. And it, it sort of has a territory or zone control mm -hmm. element to it. We are going head to head. We are beating up each other's minions, attaching equipment, getting gear, casting spells, doing all of these tactics type things you'd see in other competitive card games, except in this case, our win condition, our objective is to ravage two zones in downtown London. If we successfully do that, it doesn't matter what the other person's doing, we have won the round, or mm -hmm. we have won the game. So for those of you that have ever played games like Omen, where you have multiple areas, yep. this feels almost like a zoom in. It's almost like going into the minutia of how those conflicts would resolve. Not only how those conflicts would resolve, but it's also a, a deeper and more complex card mm -hmm. drafting system. I, I really find the thing that struck me when I first picked up this game, when we first played mm -hmm. together when your Kickstarter copy came in, I think it was about a year ago, yep. is the way that these decks combine not only create this this kind of strange asymmetric principle, you know, because they, they each function and operate in a different way. You have to know who you're going head-to-head -head mm -hmm. against, and you really have to have a sense of what their lineage and what their uh, what their domain is, and how it's going to influence their type of study or their type of deck. But along with that, it creates such a unique personality that you get to mm -hmm. play at. Not only is the art beautiful, the theme's, the theme's pretty incredible, it's right up my alley. Mm -hmm. But this deck combination mechanic here at the very beginning is going to set the stage for really the entire experience. It almost gives you the opportunity to do a little bit of light RPG as you I play. I always try to do a little bit of light <laughs> RPG when I play. So we're not going to go through a full in-depth how to play mm -hmm. of this. Instead, we're going to walk you through each turn as we play. Um, try to try to give you a sense of just how cool and how interesting this game is. Now, it is a two to four player game, yep. so there could be more people engaged in this competitive card game, which I think is another really unique feature to this. Mm -hmm. The fact that you can have multiple warring factions or houses battling over these zones yep. creates a lot more of a, a, a battle dynamic. You really have to balance what's happening or the showdowns that you're choosing to take a part in. Of course, here you'll see a head-to-head -head conflict. And along with that, a little behind the scenes for this. One of the reasons we're covering uh, Sorcerer right now is that it is coming to or is currently on Kickstarter. Yes, it is. Uh, with not only some new domains and lineage and character packs, uh, which is already super cool, mm -hmm. but they're also introducing a solo and a cooperative mode to this. So if you're interested in those mechanics, I'll have more information in our kind of an introduction to our preview video for that Kickstarter campaign. Mm -hmm. Here we're going to show off the base game, we're going to show off the competitive mode, uh, and we're going to swing into just how interesting this thing can be. Oh, and by the way, hi, we're, uh, we're Quackalope. We do uh, some subpar... They've seen the ducks. Have they? they? By this do they point, know? Yeah, they know. They, they, they've yeah. subscribed already don't and all even, that stuff, right? We're just that. assuming. We're just assuming. Thank you guys you know, so much. In a video recently, we took like four minutes telling people to subscribe down Oh, below. we decided to cut that out forever, I think. Well, not, not forever, but in recompense for for that <laughs> long of a of a subscriber push we've decided to do like eight videos in a row that just basically say well you're, you're fine yeah just watch the video if you want to join in you know we, we'd love to have you but if you Thank don't you. It's, it's okay go check out the kickstarter don't worry about <laughs> us whatever the case let's go ahead and start drafting and and combining our decks now i'm first player well first of all flip that little no, no, token no, no. i'm first player what do you mean no, 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 flip that token. What do you mean flip it? Flip that token. Why? We're going to do a heads or tails. No. <gasps> How dare you? Watch, watch. You better not watch, take. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. Now, now, first of all, I'm first player. We've already determined that, which means mm -hmm. you get to choose your draft first. Okay, that I don't I don't think that's how that works, but let's go ahead with that. So first, I, do we want to choose where we, like, what's the story? How are we building out our characters here? Are we starting with the person, then the domain, and then the lineage, or is it the lineage, the domain, and then oh, the character? You're asking how I approach this. You know, if, if we're going to dive into this, I think it's only appropriate to do the thing that a Quackalope does best. <laughs> a little bit of flavor text. Where is it? Not that much. Where is my flavor text? 
here. Where is it? No. That's not flavor text. Uh oh. Oh no. <gasps> No! Yes. Where is the flavor text? Yes! <laughs> Wait, where's the back of the box? We'll make, we'll make the flavor text, Jesse. We will make it so. There's words here. <laughs> Welcome to the dark Victorian world where the fire and smoke of industry blacken the sky. Here, there is a barrier between the two worlds. The worlds of reality and the worlds of the unknown. A border which is slowly disintegrating. As faith in higher powers is pushed into the shadows by man's acceptance of technology, across the border of this mortal realm lies Limbo, where dark souls, mythical monsters, and fantastic creatures have been imprisoned for centuries. But the sorcerers, the offspring of the dark gods and mortals, escaped the Great Purge. They wait for the opportunity to regain their former strength. Now, as the barrier has all but completely dissolved, and the two worlds collapse together, the sorcerers return to take their rightful place, their power, for greater than any army. Their, their power, far greater than any army. Hmm. So, okay. for reference, I feel like reading it in that voice was helped by the angle that I was in. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff still in here. I can't dump it all out over the place. <laughs> Flavor text has been read. It has been read. So does that give you a better context as how so, we choose this? I think so. I think yeah. so because they've been in waiting. Okay. Right? They've been they've been hiding and seeking and preparing for this mm -hmm. time where the rifts start falling apart. I think that means we probably should start with the location that they've been staying because mm -hmm. that would have had the deepest influence, then the character, then what they've been studying. Okay. Okay, and you still want me to choose first. I'm still comfortable with you choosing first. Okay, so let's see. We have of the Forgotten Temple. Mm -hmm. Of the Outcast Sanctuary, of the Screaming Coast, and of the Haunted Forest. Mm -hmm. I'll take some Haunted Forest with me. You've been lying in wait? Oh yes, uh, in the Haunted Forest. I'm, I'm totally going to have to go of the Forgotten Temple. Yeah, that was, that was, I was either between that or Outcast Sanctuary. Okay, what are you going next? Okay, so now we're going to go for... Character. For... Yeah. Hmm, who feels like it's a little bit of a Haunted Forest vibe here? Yeah, well, probably the green guy. You think so? I feel he's more like an outcast sanctuary or something like that, like Screaming know. Coast as well. Well, I no. Miselda is Screaming Coast 100%. Okay. I don't know. I feel like a a multi-armed specter that's crawling through Seems the cool. forest might be amazing. Seems so cool. I'm going to go ahead and take Ariaspis of the Haunted I, I Forest. I know you said Miselda is of the Forgotten Coast. Yeah, but she's now my, she's not? She's hands down my favorite character. <laughs> uh, I, am, I am going for Miselda. Of the uh, of the Forgotten Temple, and now I feel I feel that because we are in a haunted forest, mm -hmm. that we just have to go with something that's a little more animalistic. I I see what you're saying. I so, find that interesting. So we're gonna go with the animus insects galore. Okay, here's the thing. Uh oh, what's going on? There's only one thing you can really choose to be in a temple. Mm. And that's a demonologist. <laughs> so I have Miss Zelda of the Forgotten Temple. The demonologist, or I think it's actually the demonologist, Maselda of the Forgotten Temple. I am Ariaspis, the animist of the haunted forest. Very nice. Uh, as we start mixing these together, we'll reset the board here. Get our get our player boards here in the center. Set some of these characters off to the side because we don't need them at the moment. Well, maybe in the future, but yeah, well, not right in now. the future for sure. Uh, and let's go ahead and go over just our standard abilities so mm -hmm. we are familiar with what our player powers are going to be. So here with Maselda, I have a basic action. I can exhaust this skill card uh, to exhaust a non-legend enemy minion with a cost of four or less. If there is if there is not one to exhaust, gain three energy instead. So I can either pump myself with energy mm -hmm. or I can reduce kind of some of your abilities. Sounds your annoying. Uh, of the Forgotten Temple, I have a action tactic. Uh, you may exhaust this skill skill card to heal one damage from the attacking minion. If that minion is a hmm. wraith, heal one heal another one damage from it. Hmm. Uh, so that's something I can do to buff my own characters. Okay. And then the demonologist. This is ongoing. Whenever you play a demon minion, you may exhaust this skill card to put two flame counters on a non-legend enemy minion. Now, flame hmm. counters are going to be uh, perpetual damage to you. So okay. they're going to be just maintain damage. Uh, Until the minion dies. Basically, at the end of at, during the upkeep phase, mm -hmm. end of all the rounds through the battle phase, uh, it'll be that extra little hit. Okay. Right? And one thing to note about all these special skills is that they will only apply to wherever our standees are in. 
And that's key in this particular game. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, Ariaspes, exhaust the skill card to search your Grimoire. Shuffle afterwards for a non-curse attachment and play it with a cost lowered by one. Okay, so I have a, I have the opportunity to like access anything in my deck. Okay. Um, as an animist, whenever I play a minion, I can exhaust this skill card to attach the top card of an opponent's Grimoire to that minion in an arthropod follower. That's a really cool mechanic. Basically, I'm able to take cards from Jesse, mm -hmm. kind of trap them in my web, uh, burrow in between all these insects, and then bolster my own minions. Mm. Anytime that I add one of these tokens, I will get a plus one attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then finally, because I'm part of that Haunted Force, as a tactic, that means that only happens during the combat round, um, you may exhaust this skill card to gain an omen. If the attacking minion is a skull minion, gain another omen okay very nice uh i don't i don't like your spider deck i'm gonna be honest <laughs> you get to steal cards from me none of those cards will ever be in your deck again sir well my m spiders are very squishy so you're going to get them but they do go to your graveyard yeah so haha <laughs> yes it's wonderful wonderful right. stuff we're gonna shuffle our decks together mm -hmm. we're gonna deal ourselves six cards that's how our starting hand works and then from then on, we have to make a decision to gain extra cards. Mm -hmm. And I am going to set this box down to the side. One last look. <laughs> ah. uh, while Jan shuffles his cards, I do want to acknowledge and let you all know that this is a game that requires a decent amount of card reading and, and strategic planning. Mm -hmm. uh, which, not only in our personal lives, but also here on camera, we might not be the very best at. However, all those little moments where we're sitting in silence, reading our cards, trying to figure out our strategy to take down the other player, I will take the time to edit through and cut out because I honestly don't think they're that fun to watch. No. So if you've never seen a Quackalope video before, please know that the the overlays and the card plays and the, the, the crunched up gameplay uh, is both a good example of the experience of gameplay, but also removes all those annoying parts that make gameplay videos, especially board game gameplay videos, uh, less fun than average. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, we're ready. I think I'm ready to win. Uh, well, I'm not ready to win. We're all right. We're three to one today on simple games. No, 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 no. We're two to one today. No, I'm counting this one. Uh, <laughs> and this is not a simple game, so we'll see. Okay. So uh -huh. first off, Jesse, as first player, I think you get to choose where you want to start from. I do. I get to. I get to set my person down in mm -hmm. one of these three locations now. Here's how we're going to have to determine this, because technically we should be sitting across from each other. Mm -hmm. So here's how I'm visualizing it. Tell me if you agree. Okay. This is in the middle of these two. So these zones are adjacent so to So these will one. be our flanking Those are our flanking fields. zones. Okay, sure. Uh, so I'm starting, I'm starting with my character power here in the center. And I can choose if I want to start there or anybody any, anywhere you else? You absolutely can. We do not have to be in the same zone if we don't want to be. Hmm. Like, I've, I'm noticing here that I don't necessarily have a lot of things that affect you or your minions. So I don't know if it's that so important me for me. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's yeah. what I'm planning Why are you on doing. Mess with me? I'm gonna go here. Why I don't you know if consider... it's a good strategy though. Probably not. Yeah, maybe. We will be able to change this every every new round. We can kind of teleport yep. uh, to new areas on the board. So maybe it won't be that bad. We'll see. Now, the real game begins. Yeah, we're gonna read our cards and then we're gonna start doing this thing. <laughs> the real game, right? Uh-huh, I know what you do. Okay, so we're going to start here with the top of the action phase, because yep. in the first round, we don't do the ready phase. It all kind of starts mm -hmm. populated. Yeah, we start with six energy and then one omen. And just default. so we're clear, win condition is bringing two of these zones into our control. Yep. When our counter hits 12, mm -hmm. that zone has been destroyed. Whoever crosses that line flips it, puts their marker down on it, uh, and they have one point towards endgame. Yep. So starting here, starting with the first player, it's me. Uh, players alternate taking actions. They can do any of the following. Channel energy to gain two energy. Meditate to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Cast a spell, which is a type of card. Activate a power, which is one of our action abilities up here. Mm -hmm. Or reinforce, which is to move one of your minions or swap two of your minions into adjacent battlefields. Okay. Uh, and so to be clear, this battlefield and this battlefield will never be adjacent. It the, doesn't cycle yeah, it through. It does not we cycle. To go Those through two this are not way. adjacent. You've got to go up and down this okay. loop. I'm I'm actually going to start this round. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to draw two more cards up. Mm, not very happy what you got. Well, I don't know why you'd assume that. <laughs> but I'm just going to draw two more cards up. I'm going to go ahead and play a card. 
Uh, it's going to be a sorcery card. Okay. It says, Rite of Blades, gain two energy. Now I can look at the top six cards of my Grimoire. I can put one of them into my hand and the rest on the top of my Grimoire in any order I choose. Okay. So it's a, that's a pretty great card. And now it's uh, down to you. I can finish this off myself. And I gain an Omen token. Sure. Omen tokens so, are going to be used for re-rolling in the combat yeah, there's, phase. Yeah, there is dice rolling, which anyone that's seen our stuff before knows I'm at a significant <laughs> disadvantage. Uh, it's bad for me. <laughs> that being said, there is dice mitigation in this yes, game. 100%. And you can be strategic with the way you use it mm -hmm. uh, to the point where dice control and dice rolling comes down mostly to the mechanic that deals with critical hits and standard hits. Yep. And I think less so due to random luck. Unless you're mm -hmm. like me and you roll blanks. Consistently. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and just gain two extra mana. I'm, I'm pushing another turn. Back down to you. Oh my gosh. Like, if you could see my hand... Oh, this is so depressing. Yeah? My lord. I feel bad for you. I'm going to go ahead and play Soul's Shadow. Okay. That lets me grab another sorcery from my from my uh, graveyard. <laughs> and what is what is is that all Soul Shadow does? Yeah, that's all that's uh, all it does. And then we have a power of two, two. and a defense of two or a health. An of essence two. of two, yes. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pay four. Mm -hmm. So dropping down to four here, and I'm gonna play down uh the Vengeful Baron. Mm -hmm. Win play, choose one, uh deal two damage to a minion that has one or more flame counters on it, or put two flame counters on an enemy minion. Oh, so I'm guessing you're going to go over there and put it on my guy? Yeah, I'm uh, popping in right here. Excellent. And we are adding two flame counters to your minion. Now, like we said, flame counters are kind of like poison in a way. It's mm -hmm. constant burns. You're on fire. You get end of end of round damage. Yep. Okay. I, I did kind of play that guy just so that I could uh, do this. <laughs> well, you know do? what? Actually, that might not be the best thing right now. Probably not. I mean, you're usually making not the best type of decisions. Uh, funny. <laughs> this moves down, by the way. Well, you know, I wouldn't... You can't begrudge me for trying. I'm going to go ahead and draw two cards. Okay. I wonder what they are. <laughs> Back to you, Bob. I also wonder what they are. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking a lot about this. Oh, and I gained an omen. I've been thinking a lot about this. I just want a little bit more zone control. Pushing my assets down, I'm going to go ahead and play mm -hmm. a Taunting uh, Rarach. Rarach? Yeah. Rar. It's close. Uh, when you play, you may destroy an attachment. No attachments on the board right now, so I'm just playing him for, uh, for, for some ground control. So I'm going to go ahead and play my Blood Guard over here. Okay. Bringing me... Oh, ooh, I don't think I want to do that yet. You're... Yeah, that's a lot of energy to spend. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. Draw one card, yeah. and then I will gain six. And you know, in the meantime, you can go ahead and do your stuff. Ah, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this round to draw up two more cards. You're getting so many cards into your hand. I, I want. You're the nervous. Chance. I want the chance to do the same. Yeah. <laughs> All right. On to you. I've got one round left. Okay. Oh, yes. This does tick down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I will go ahead and play my blood guard here, and I'm going to take two cards from the ones you just grabbed, randomized, <laughs> and I'm going to use them as entrepod followers. So both these cards are going to get put in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to get this, and I'm going to go ahead and tap my Animus, so that I can add another Entropod follower in there. Whenever you play a minion, uh, you may exhaust the skill card to attach to the cop card of an opponent's Grimoire. What? Yes. Get out of here. <laughs> to put that over there, uh, and that is now an Entropod follower. That card is exhausted, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so uh, pretty good. Oh. <laughs> now, you didn't... You didn't did you use an action there? Yes. This, that's an action, right? No, 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 that's an ongoing effect. It's kind of like Yours is ongoing? Yes. Okay, because uh, I have some here that are actions that I would like to use, but not not able to. Mm-hmm. Well, you do have one last turn. I hear you. <laughs> I do hear you. That, you're a bad person. <laughs> Let's see here. Is I'm going to do a thing called Innocent Blood. This is going to cost two. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to either distribute three flame counters among enemy minions or deal damage to a minion equal to a number of flame counters on it. So I could either pop your character there. Immediately. 
or add three to your other character, which means by the end of the round, he is going to die. You could do those things. Could do either of those things. You could, 100%. I think... I think guaranteeing a death is what I'm going to go for. So I'm going to add three flame... Nope, guaranteeing a death. Oh. Adding three flame counters to your other character there mm. so that both of them are... Both of them are written... You know, I have their names written in gravestones already with blood. They're just waiting to arrive. Yeah. All I, right. don't, I don't like that. That's my last it. action. We're going down to battle phase after you go. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and play this guy over here with two. That gives me another omen. Yep. Now, the Both card I these. played, that white card I played, was that a, did that give me an omen or not? Just double check for me real quick. Yes. Did, okay. That gets there, and then I will gain two more on, uh, arthropod followers here. Okay. And unfortunately, that's going to be it. All right. So going down to the battle phase, starting with the battle phase to the first player's left, but in a two-player game... It's a center board. It's always a center board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Players alternate attacking. The first player attacks first in the center battlefield and then attacks second in the flanking battlefields. Exhaust one of your minions to declare an attack. So we're going to start here. Uh, declaring an attack. I'm going to roll two dice. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have no... Nothing. Nothing to block. Not too bad. <laughs> oh, that's about as good as I could get, though. Uh, you could have gotten one more. Well, yeah. That's still... <laughs> that's solid for me. I'm, I feel okay with this. So then we're going up to the flanking battlefield, yes. right? And you're going to attack first here? Yep, okay. I would be first. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and attack with my uh, spider person over here. I'm going to roll six dice. All right, all right, spider, that is a that is a brood guard. Okay, sure. A brood guard, Flavor which is a spider. Lore, it's a huge spider. Matter jam. Look at that spider. That's a huge spider. Okay, so uh, this might be messy. I have to roll all these dice. By the way, it's supposed to be here. So let's go ahead. How many dice are you rolling? Six. Stop. <laughs> Excellent. With a critical and also that. Mm -hmm. Are you going to keep this? Mm -hmm. Remember, you have your thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to use one omen token to re-roll. <laughs> that did not count. Did that that totally that count? counts. Oh, come on. Then I'll spend one more. There we go. Yeah? Going through? Yeah. Are you doing any more? No, that's it. Saying this is saying exactly as is. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Well, thank you for letting me re-roll the dice for free. Ooh, nice. Gorgeous. I think that's a little worse, isn't it? It or is. Or at least exactly it is the same. slightly worse. I think it's exactly the same with the opportunity to roll those blanks again. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're just going to guarantee damage on your guy. Reroll one of those double headers. Let's get a blank, please. I need this to be less than what you're doing. Thank you. <laughs> you want to keep helping me out, or, or are we done here? Technically, we're supposed to take turns, but you know, I'm, I'm going to skip this reroll phase. Mm hmm. Yeah. What, what do you think? What are you thinking? I'm done. I, you're, you're done? I can't. My luck is so bad. <laughs> well, it's my luck at this point. Well, um, I'm going to guarantee two hits here, and you are free. To zone. Yeah, and you are free to distribute that however you wish. All right. I'll do one damage to my character. Mm -hmm. I'll do two damage to my character and one to the zone. Yep. Okay. Oh, maybe I should have done that differently. I should have done two to the character and one to the zone. Well, it's too late now. Yeah. Oh, well. You It'll only be had, fine. You only had two guaranteed I should, hits. Yeah, I should have done two guaranteed hits on your character. Nope. Too late now. Yes, it is. I got too greedy. I mean, it resulted in the same thing as it would have. Yeah, maybe. Well, it's my turn to attack you, right? Yes. So, let's see here. I'm going to do so, which means I'm going to be rolling four dice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and probably getting a lot of... Now you're probably going to do great. You'll see. <laughs> hey, there is dice mitigation in this game, Jesse. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> Check out this double. There you go. There's a double, and now you're going to re-roll that double. <laughs> I want to see that shake. 
Hey! Much better. Ah, we split the difference. We split the difference. So, what are you going to do? Guaranteed hit on your guy that's not burning to death right now. Okay. Uh, and then you can assign those two wherever you'd like. Yep. I'll assign them right here. Because he's going to die anyways. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh that sucks. <laughs> okay, so now I have uh, free reign here to do as much damage as I like. So I'm going to do that with him. That's going to be two dice. Hopefully I do not miss. hey -o, That's three. Where's it going? Ooh, all to the battlefield. Bold. I'm in a hard spot, because if I add any damage to him, the odds of you wiping him out are pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Um, so I'm going to battle with this. So this is going to be three. And I'm going to tap my Haunted Forest ability. You may exhaust this skill card to gain an omen. If the attacking minion is a skull minion, which I'm not using right now, um, it would be another omen. So I have two Ooh, omens now. All right. You cannot activate that here because your person I is not there. Oh. <laughs> okay. So here we go. hey -o! And we're going to spend one omen here. To roll this. Hey, perfect. Uh oh, where was this? At four or five. One guaranteed here. So goodbye to your minion. Okay, so only discard. one? Oh, only one. Yeah, and two more. Uno, dos. So, um, good job defending the realm. Let's go. Let's do this. So now I take this, refills to the very tippy top. <laughs> What? Why are you laughing like that? <laughs> All right, our turns come back up to the top, and now you get to decide if you want to give us four or roll the die. We're going to roll that dice. Let's see what it does. Oh, no. Three. That's little horrible. Bit, a little lower than average, so I'm up to four. Oof, that sucks. <sighs> that hurts. And oh, oh, and uh, all my guys die. Uh, Most of them do. Yeah, this guy dies. This guy dies. Mm-hmm. Uh, we lose all these antro antropod minions here. I believe but most, if not all, of these come back into my. Not deck. all of them. There's some some no. in there that are mine. All these are mine. All those are yours. Yeah. Okay. What about, oh, and that one. Now this guy survives. He stays. He stays right there. This goes up here. This gets refreshed. Make sure that you refresh all your skill cards. Yeah. Um, we're also going to gain one more omen. One omen. Uh, and you're leading and the round. Yes, that's, that, that should be all here. Ah, oh, so apparently we're going to be forced to uh, make some decisions uh, for gaining some energy. Huh? Isn't that, uh, seems like it's the only way forward. So with that said, I'm going to gain two energy. <laughs> but down to you. Hmm. I'm going to spend all four of mine to go ahead and lay down some cover fire. Four? Why do you have four? It's three. Uh, but I already have one left over. Oh. Yeah, so Venerable... Senshal. When played, pick an opponent. They pick a discard. They pick and discard a card from their hand. If they discard a non-sorcery card, restore up to three defense to your side of the battlefield. <laughs> Pressure's on. You suck. Yeah. <sighs> that sucks. Oh, and we could have repositioned our people, right? Yes. In the upkeep. Yes. Uh, fate counter. Ready and exhaust all cards. Uh, set action tracker to six. Each player gains one omen, uh, and you place your avatars in the battlefield. Mm -hmm. I do, in fact, want to reposition up here because apparently I'm not defending that place very well. I don't like having your character there, so I'm just going to go ahead and move here. All right. <laughs> you're de you, you can go ahead and recover three because I don't have any sorceries in hand right now. You are So you're, you very have to lucky. choose to discard a non-sorcery mm -hmm. card. I'm just trying to choose which one because they're okay. all so good. Recovered three. Um, Man, this sucks. I'm going to go ahead and discard this guy. Okay. Uh, so down to me, right, Bob? It is Bob? to your turn. Yes, sir. Okay. My so name's not Bob, by the way. I know. It's, it's, from a, it's from a song that I know. Back to you, Bob. Okay. I gain one omen, and I'm playing Lord of the Flies. Uh, you're not gonna like this guy. Attach the top four cards of an opponent's Grimoire to one of your minions as an Entrepod follower. So they're all going on him. <laughs> so you can uh, go ahead and place them there. They are now four. trapped. Four. They are now trapped in my web. Boop. 
onto me. Mm hmm. You're not fun to play games with. Uh, I'm, I <laughs> what just, do you mean? You've destroyed me like four times today. You know. And you might likely win this too. The most too. charming thing about Quackalope is someone always falls apart around mid game. <laughs> I don't think it'll be you. It'll back, likely be me. Back to your turn, sir. Oh, what, what happened? Gain mana. Oh, okay. I got some energy. Um. I don't think I have much choice to do something different. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna draw cards actually. Okay. You know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start. I think I'm gonna start playing. Uh, so I'm going to play down, spend one. It's gonna gain me an omen, and I'm also going to do a ongoing curse. Ooh, I don't the like attached curses. minion. The attached minion's text box is blank. This okay. ability cannot be blanked. When played, weaken the attack minion. Oh, that's not, that's not a big deal for me. It is. No, not really. Pop it in oh, here. Oh, because it's minus two attack. Pop it in here. Okay. One damage coming on to you. Your text box is considered blank. Uh, but I still keep the cards because it's a one play ability. I know. Okay. I know. Your text box is considered yeah, blank. Yeah, no, but the minus two does suck. And it is a minus two. Yeah, yeah, that does suck. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play two. Okay. That's it. We should be there. I shouldn't be. You're one step ahead of me. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. No, yeah, exactly. You should be here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Maybe, baby. I'm gonna spend one more to go ahead and add a pistol. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Do it right here. So this uh, this pistol is going to be a tactic. Uh, put a flame counter on an enemy minion that does not already have one. So mm. during a battle, when I use this, I will get to I will get to add a flame counter to a enemy unit. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna go ahead and gain two more. I uh, don't like you buffing. <laughs> uh, I am going to, and I should be here. I'm gonna gain. I'm gonna drop two cards to start okay. with. On to you. For my final and For bravest my action. my final trick. I'm going to play a Dread White here, and that minion dies. Why? The Dread White will deal damage and weaken a non-legend minion any number of times. And I am going to deal him three damage. What do you mean? Let me see this thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. When played, you may weaken a non-legend enemy minion any number of times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he dies. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. And I also take this card from you. I'll place it down here. And uh, add another little little of these tokens right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to drop two cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and get this started. Mm -hmm. uh, party time. Oh, please stop. So I thought I had this game. Like, I like this game so much. So I had five originally. I can only throw three dice now. I am counting for two. Yeah. Two stars. That's all I want. Two stars. That's one star. This is at one. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to get something to help you out. See? Thank cause, you very much. Because you're... It's necessary at this You're point. You're a mess. <laughs> so I have one star. I'm going to go ahead and play an omen so I can re-roll again. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, that's... Wait, did I? No, 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 I'm sorry. I meant to roll this one, the empty one, obviously. It's still empty. I love that you're like, well, that wasn't exactly what I wanted. I meant to roll this other day. Well, it was silly of me to roll the one that has a damage, a guaranteed damage. What the heck? <laughs> I don't like this thing. This thing sucks. <laughs> That's a bad thing. I don't like that thing. <laughs> I'm going to play one more omen. Uh... Okay, thank you. No, no, <laughs> no. Okay, Jesse. Uh, so we are guaranteeing one damage on this guy. Mm -hmm. And you can go ahead and distribute that however you wish. Two more has got to be placed. Yes. Let's push that up a little bit. Okay. So, back to you. <sighs> Great. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be attacking with him. I, I do get to roll five dice. Yeah, it's a lot. It's pretty powerful. Yeah. And I get to add a flame counter to an enemy. 
Oh, so it's like it's automatic. Got it. Well, I, I get to do it. It's a tactic. Mm hmm. Okay. So. Oh. And I'm not here at this zone. It's not. It's not the best roll for it's five dice. Roll. It's not the worst roll either. That's about no, average. It's okay. It's about average. I'm gonna spend one of these. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna hold this, just because I was skewing your rolls. You can skew mine. See, <laughs> I'm gonna spend it one more time. I'm s is... I'm like very yeah slowly moving. Hey, it worked perfectly. Very subtly moving it. Um, <sighs> I don't want to give you the chance to roll two dice for free, so you're good. You can go ahead and deal that. How how do you want to distribute it? You know, man. <laughs> What'd you do? I pushed your marker down. Oh, uh, okay, so you're guaranteeing it there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll take three damage on my guy. No problem whatsoever. So that's four, and he will die at the end of this turn. You're surprised that I did that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I'll just take one damage and then move this upward, too. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Okay. Um, so now we're going over here, uncontested. So, uh, I want you to put that on the ground, sir. I feel you're like very slowly shaking that in a way that makes all my dice rolls suck. Hey, -o. um, we're going to go ahead and re-roll this. Uh. Oh, well, that sucks. Yes. yes. Uh, so that's two damage. So that's one, two. Mm -hmm. Damn, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have gotten hungry. So now uh, we are going to attack with this guy, but I'm going to activate my tactic ability, which gives me two omen cards because he is a skull oh, minion. No. Yeah, that's why I did that. Sorry, only three dice. Please. Not bad. Yeah. Wasting an omen. Yes! So that's one, two, three, four. Yep, I win. This is mine. So. Flip the board. Place the indicator on your side. Beautiful. The destroyed, what is this location? Uh, this was London. This was Whitechapel. The and so I can go ahead and push this anywhere I want, right? Yeah, when you destroy a location. Is it only? It's only adjacent, right? I believe it's like whatever adjacent. they can move yeah, to. I believe it's an adjacent location. It has to be within their movement zone. So this, I'm going to move here, obviously. Yeah. And this guy, I'm going to move all the way over here because he has a flying. Ability. Well, the good news is now we've got a place for the dice tray. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a good one. Okay, so it wasn't that funny of a joke. I thought it was funny. It wasn't even really a joke. <laughs> I thought it was funny the way the way that you you know you said it is was was funny. So I'm gonna give you that. That's yours. Sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> so I gave you that. That's yours. Uh -huh. Um. So uh, ready, all exhausted cards in play. So this gets ready. Uh, this guy's gonna take another damage, right here. So he's very close to dying. Uh, let's see. Jesse, would you like to give us four energy each, or are we rolling that die? You know, Ooh. you know my classic, <laughs> classic history with dice rolls. <laughs> I love it as you say it. It happens. Wow. Well, thank you so very much, Jesse. I needed the mana more than you. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh dear. Oh my lord. Okay, so we get six over here. Uh, this also. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, oh, and we also gained two, uh, an omen each. So, omen for you and omen for you. Okay. This is, uh, this is fascinating. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by gaining two mana. <laughs> uh, the first thing I'm going to do is play one so that I can add uh, this pendant to my What's Lord that of the Flies. To? Just the, it's going to give me plus the three strength health. buff? Yes. And plus one. Combat as well. You suck. Just in case we were planning on taking him out I, very soon. I was. <laughs> literally. Before the battle phase started. 
I had a feeling. I was like, okay, I really got to boost my guy ASAP. Okay. I'm going to pay three. Okay. Uh, I'm placing down Melisandre's Infiltrator. Okay. Uh, wind played, copy the wind played effect of a non legend minion. <gasps> wind played, you may destroy an attachment. We're destroying that three health. Mm. Uh, interesting that you decided to do that. That's an interesting one. You had a good opportunity there. What do you mean I had a good opportunity? You could have copied his ability and gained four Entrepot followers from my own deck. No. You could have flipped the script. No, that's all right. That's all right. I don't, author pride followers don't really help me that much. I mean, I'm going to play another attachment and give my, my unit plus three. <laughs> <laughs> that's my turn. <laughs> We're currently here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do, man. <laughs> what, what happened? Oh, you just gained mana? I'm probably gonna do the same. I'll draw two cards first. Mm. You're 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 aiming towards something powerful, aren't you? I'm gonna go ahead and gain two. Okay, now you're scaring me. Uh, I'm going to play four two Oberon Sentry. So when play, draw a card then attach a card from your hand to one of your minions as an Entrepot follower. Mm. Gonna go ahead and place this guy right here. Okay, my turn. Yes, this is our final turn, right? Yep. Paying six, Ooh. summoning a legendary- Oh no, I hate that guy. The Belfragor. I hate him. Now, I'm also going to be using my ongoing ability. Whenever you play a demon minion, you may exhaust this skills card to put two flame counters on a non-legend enemy By the way, thank you for reminding me. I'm going to do the same thing over there. That's convenient, isn't it? Well, hey, you're, you're right. I forgot. Super convenient. Oh, wait a minute. We never moved our guys. I moved mine. I would place mine Because there. mine was in a region that got destroyed. <laughs> That's you could have moved, of, you could have moved of, them again. Wait, that's kind of convenient for you to uh, you, move your I have consistently during the entire game never been in the same place that you have been. And you know this. I know nothing. <laughs> Ongoing. At the end of each round, you may deal two damage to each minion, including this one. Mm -hmm. By the way, you're missing out on a... Re Why is this all the way up here? Because I've done damage to you there. No, you have all that. Mm -hmm. No, you have I have. Sure. Okay. Um, he's destroyed an entire zone of mine, and he's like, there's no way you've done four damage to me. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate this card so that I can search for a, uh, a non-curse attachment and play it with a cost lower by one. So I've gone ahead and picked a card. Uh, I'm picking Tatiana's Tear. I'm going to equip that for free on my uh, Oberon Sentry. What? I'm going to put this right here. Nothing, Jan. <laughs> um, and this now has a tactic ability, by the way. Mm -hmm. I bet it does. <laughs> okay. Um, and that'll be it. Oh, man, I'm totally losing this this turn, aren't I? My God. Moving into the battle phase of this game. Starting oh, with wait a minute. This had this had both of these. Oh no, you played this this turn. I just had those. Okay, okay, just in case. I got scared. I was like, oh no. Starting with me. Mm -hmm. Exhaust one of my minions to declare an attack. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to start my attack phase here with uh, Mel Melisandre. Miselda's Infiltrator. Ah. Oh, Miselda's Infiltrator, yeah, yeah, yeah. That name. <laughs> so that's three. Here we go. 
I don't think I have any... Now there's no one that can influence the dice rolls. A tactics ability? Well, I'm looking. Yeah, you have one. I do have one. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. We didn't... Did we ever play any omen cards? No. Actually, that's interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, not bad. Signing one damage here for sure. Okay. And then, uh, where do you want those two to go? I'm gonna do... Oh, then it'll die, won't it? Yep. I'll go ahead and just do two here. No, oh, I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have done two flames here, because you only have two health. Yeah. I'm totally putting one there, at least. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and do two here. So that's, let's see, so that's one, two, three, four, five. It had five health at the beginning, plus three, minus two. Okay, I'm at six, so I'm one health away from dying. Yep. I don't want to do that. No. Okay. Now it's my turn to attack. It is your turn to attack. You are right. So I get... Oh, it's a minus two to the attack, not it the health. Absolutely is a minus two to that attack. Oh, I forgot about that. It's fine. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, two. Uh, okay, so three dice getting rolled. Okay, three dice. Let's see... Okay, two damage. Okay. I get to assign it? Yeah. Let's see here. Give him one. And I will, uh, I'll take one. Okay. All right, on to me. Yes. Let's have a bit of fun. I'm going to attack. And another flame. Here. Mm-hmm. I do get to add another flame. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do that right here. Uh, and also, you may exhaust this skill card to heal one damage from the attacking minion. If the minion is a wraith, heal another damage. It's not a wraith, but I do get to heal this damage off of him. Okay. And I'm going to be rolling a total of five, five. dice. Yeah, this is going to be a massacre now. Okay, well, you win. Well, do I even want to... No, I'm not going to waste my omens. Through. So, so, I have a question, I have a question. This is important. When do these guys transfer? Is it immediate? Are we sure that minions moved from one side to the other? Well, I don't know about that. They might just wipe. Oh, no, no, no. The minions stay where, where they were. In the battlefield? Yeah. Like, they just stay there. So you'd have to move them. Yeah, so no further attacks takes place there, but the minions survive. So we we should have, yeah, we should have spent uh, some reinforce actions moving everyone. Well, you only moved, you're the one that moved people. Well, sure. Put the fake counter and place it on their player board, right side filled up, yeah. So, we just made a hard cut. You saw Jan drop the rule book there. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I'm really enjoying this because we just discovered that Jan Technically. Oh, come on. I, how was I supposed to know? So this guy is actually here. Tried to cheat. This guy's actually here. Man, I guess I won't be able to take advantage. Like, it's not fair. I would have I would have reinforced to move that guy over, uh, but I just won't be able to do anything uh, here, with it. You, what did you do? You drew up cards instead of gaining mana, so really there's not a good way to even take it back. Because I, yeah. would, I would scale back your mana to let him move. So when a battle resolves, minions don't just transfer to another location. Instead, mm -hmm. they stay at that damaged area, and you can move them or manipulate them around the board. But little hotshot over here thought he'd get away with it. Uh, little did I he know, searched for the thing because I was curious. Little did he know, I would cause so much destruction here that he'd suddenly become concerned that my minions would be zooming over to a different battlefield. Yeah. So either way, like we said at the very beginning, this is a Quackalope video. That means the experience matters more. I'm kidding. We, we do our very best. Whatever the case, I get to carry over some damage. Yes. Four total. Two went here to claim this for myself. And two went here. And two are going on to your, uh, your minion. So there. he has a total of... Yeah, he has a total of eight. Okay, He's so gone. so this guy's ready. He's ready. But he won't survive. Cannot. He will yeah. survive. Well, I'm sorry. He won't be able to attack this He turn. will just have to move next turn. Yeah. And that's terrifying. I think you might... I said I said that you might win this. Okay, so this guy's going to attack. Um, he's going to attack with a total of four dice. No, I'm sorry. Three dice. Five dice. Five... Oh, because his, uh, his mm -hmm. followers. 
You may attach a card from your hand to the attachment as an Anthropod follower. I will be doing that. Um, let's go ahead and play this guy here. So that gives him a one more. So it's going to be six dice. Oh, you have the stupid thing. Ooh, gorgeous. You spend any of your tokens? No, oh, I'm happy with that, just like that. What are my odds on sixes? Three, four, five. Oh, I think we missed another rule. Give me that rule book. I'm gonna check it here on camera, in person. What? Because I did read this. You're gonna you're gonna be very excited about this rule. No, I'm not. It's gonna suck, isn't it? Two hits if unopposed. Oh. Which I don't think I think this is the first time we've had a fully unimposed zone. Yeah. That means I'm flipping this. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> So just for clarification, those stars, that was not a star. Yeah, it was. You tipped it was, that It over. was like this. No, it was like this. That was catty corner. That was, no, no, no. From my angle, that no, was like, you re-roll no, that dice. No, I'm not. You re-roll nope. that dice. That is a fair roll. That is not a fair roll. That Bro, was, it was like this. That was so... All I did was this. I did this. No. it. I literally, from my angle, it was like this. That no, was so, it was like this. That was so cockeyed. That was so cockeyed. Unfair. I, I have this recorded. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna spend That's one. Still terrible for me. I'm gonna spend one. I'm gonna spend another one. Oh come on! Get out of here. Wasn't this a two? Nope. No, I don't think so. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. He is doing his very best to secure victory. Well, of course I do. By any means possible. Well, not by any means possible. Any means possible. Okay. Uh, so that is that is it. Okay. End of the round, you're popping. Yes, this guy dies. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Uh, <laughs> give me back my cards whenever you can. This is going to flip over to your side of the board. Mm -hmm. We are popping back up to six. And are you rolling that dice? Are you guaranteeing four? I have a feeling I know the answer. I'm throwing. Of course you are. Because that's <laughs> how a quackalope do. <laughs> um, this guy also takes damage, Jesse. And that means he dies as well. Oh, that's true. Because he's over... Mm -hmm. Now, granted, you cheated, so the flame that was on there wouldn't have technically been on there, because... No, he had a flame from the very beginning. Did he? Okay. Yeah. So this is yours, this is yours. Yeah, they're all yours. <laughs> um, okay. I don't have any minions like that. Okay. <sighs> I kind of don't want to give you stuff. I love stuff. It's three. That's stuff. Okay, so first thing I'm doing, I'm drawing two cards. Oh, um, and yeah, I guess I'll just stay there. First thing I'm doing is I'm reinforcing. Mm-hmm. I hate that guy so much. Where'd he go? On to you. Jim. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna play this card. Okay. Gives me one omen. Oh, by the way, we both gain an omen. Fair, yep. Um, so it says, return one of your non-legend minions from play to your hand. If you do, you may play a min uh, minion from your hand with a cost lower by three. I'm going to go ahead and do that here. I take both of those cards and they go under that guy. Oh, you had... Oh, I thought you had less than that. Cool, I didn't need those cards anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving down. hand among your arthropod, yep. I'm going to uh, come reinforce. I'm going to go ahead and... Getting some mana there. Okay. Are we? Where are we now? I'm. I'm on my. I'm going down. We've one done. We've farther. done two things, right? You're cheating. Go one more. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I'm gonna reinforce. Okay. I'm gaining two more. Okay. Mm, you're going for something big. You're going for something big. I'm gonna draw two cards. I'm getting two. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to, oh golly, 
I'm going to pay two to play this card down here. This is going to be my Impulsive Zealot. When played, put a fame, flame counter on an any, any enemy minion, and I'm also going to exhaust my Demonologist, which is going to allow me to do two more oh, of those. Oh, I keep forgetting the Animus, sorry. So that is going to be... Give me see. the top card from your deck. Sorry. Thank you. So that is going to be three flame counters right here. Three? One for my card, two from my Demonologist. Really? On to you. Oh, that sucks. This is your last action. Yeah, I know. You see your guys? He's a... Yeah, he's a legend. I hate that he's a legend. That sucks. <laughs> um, so I'm playing one, two, three. To play down your favorite guy, uh, he's dead. <sighs> Why? Because when he plays, he just scratches at him until he keels over. What do you mean? Why are you? Look at how powerful your your side of the board is. It's really good. Demonic ambitions. Choose one. Destroy uh, an attachment or remove all flame counters from a minion, then deal that much damage to a minion. Fine. Zeroed. Mm -hmm. Give me back my peoples. Well, they go to your graveyard. Give me back my community. Damn. Okay. That sucks. Let's see if we can pull the victory out. All right. That's it. Battle phase starting mm -hmm. with you. Yeah, so I think here you actually attack first. Why is that? Uh, because it's still flanking, technically. Because these remain? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm fine with that. I think so. Sure. I, I don't know. I think so. Let's let's do a thing. Uh, I'm going to start off with an attack from my big guy here. I hate I'm your big guy. I'm also going to play my tactic at the same time, which heals him in the process. Ew. And he's like rolling that. six. Yeah, he's, he's ridiculous. Legend cards are crazy. Oh my god. Reroll. <laughs> I thought that was coming. No, of course. Are you crazy? Jesus. Did you see that? Yeah! <laughs> yes! I take... <laughs> I almost choked there. <laughs> Are you going to reroll something? <laughs> I'm going to reroll the die. <laughs> oh lord, thank you! Lord, that was so scary. Hey, there you go. Three. I'll take all three. Uh, I'm at four. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to attack with my minion here, activating this so I can have two more omens. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesse. I gotta, I gotta pull this out. I gotta pull the win. If possible. I don't think I will, though. You're, that guy is gonna be the death of me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm gonna deal one damage to him. So, he's dead. Uh, you got four coming straight at you. I'll take two. Mm -hmm. And I'll drop two. Okay. On to me. Yes. Three die being rolled. <laughs> two damage coming your way. Uh, I'll take both. Let's see. That would be a total of five. I'll take both here. Okay. All right. Your turn. Last one. You don't even have to pro rotate it. You got how much damage coming my way? I understand what you mean. Um, it's going to be a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Yep. Sorry. That was all. Jesse, it's all together. You know this. Ooh, nice. Okay. So another omen. Okay. Another omen. <laughs> Another omen? Hey! So that's a total, so that's one guaranteed, which I'm going to put here. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have to kill all your guys. And then take one damage. Well, you'll take two damage one. here. One. Yes. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And five, six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so this is refreshed. Um, all cards over here are refreshed. This goes over to you, Bob, and uh, your die. So funny 
funny every time. It's so funny every single time. I the think. good news is that's what I wanted because I didn't want you to have more mana. You know, I... You can't deal with your die rolls. <laughs> I'm so red. I'm probably so red on the camera. Woo! Okay. Jesse, okay, so you drew two cards. Uh... <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so I'm going to play this card, lowering it by one, to take this card back into my hand so that I can play this guy for one. What do you mean that card's back into your hand? Yeah, just, just like I said. Watch the card I don't like. Yeah, I know. Oh, and I gain an omen. Your turn. Three I have again. one omen. Did you um, give me an omen already? You already gave me an omen. Yeah, I did. I gave us both. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw two cards. Your turn. I'm gonna gain two. Back to you. Your turn. Oh my god, what are you doing? Jesus Christ. The only thing I can, Jan. The only thing I can. Uh, well, I'm definitely terrified. Um, I'm gonna draw two cards. I am playing for seven, Asmodeus. Oh no. Uh, this is a legendary. Ongoing, whenever an enemy minion is destroyed, you may search the top six cards of your Grimoire, shuffle afterwards for a minion, reveal it and put it into your hand. Okay. That doesn't help me a lot, but I do get to play Demonologist, which adds two flame to uh, one of your people. I'll add two flame here. And he's beefy, he's six six. I mean, he's, he's a good guy. Yeah, I don't have any way of killing him. And that card you brought back into your hand does not destroy him on command. That is the, out of everything, that is the most important lesson that we've learned in this game. <laughs> you're 100% right. Uh, you're 100% right on that. Um, hmm. I wish I knew. Do I have two more turns? No. That, oh yeah, you have two more turns. Like, I wish I knew if I had any cards here that could take down your guy. You probably don't. I wish I could search. Can I search my deck? Nope. Nope. <sighs> Fine. I guess I'll just play a card that'll get you really annoyed. One, two, three, four. All text boxes are blanked out. And I gain another omen. So your super ability is, n is kaput. I heard what you said. <laughs> so drawing two cards. Yeah, that's it. Um, cast, draw two, gain two. I'll gain two energy, just in case there's more stuff coming down now, the Now, to line. be fair, I have been wrecked in this game, but it's still come down to the wire. I mean, it, you haven't been wrecked. Are you joking? I feel like I've definitely had the the. I've been on my back foot from the beginning. Oh sure, okay. But well, it but it is come down to the last battle. I mean, you're gonna, there are die rolls here. You're gonna wipe me out here. Yeah. Well, and everyone, we said it at the very beginning of the video. <laughs> die rolls are not my friend. <laughs> they don't like you. We have proven time and time again that I will in fact roll a one more often than is statistically <laughs> possible or probable. Um, oh wait, and also, I always forget to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do just, that. Can you just start attacking? <laughs> Yo, if first of all, you attack first. You, Cause it's your like, it's your, first of all, your first player, so you would attack. Wait, what did we decide? It is me? All you need is one crit. Is it? Oh, That's all wow. you need. So I'm attacking. Oh, roll all six of them. I'm gonna attack with this roll guy. Roll all six of them. Jesse, you don't know if I get a crit, and also you have a complete reroll. Remember? I know. Yeah. That's two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You have an omen token! Go, sure. <laughs> you don't know what could happen. Okay, now I'm playing mine. One, My two, omen. three, four, five, six, seven. There's the omen. Dead, through, buried, flip the board. I'm not shaking that. <gasps> Come on! 
That's mean. Mm. No, okay, I don't want the kissy. Well, I don't then want you kissy. decide what type of affection he gets. Ah. <laughs> uh. Good game, man. That was close. That was close. All like right. I all thought, right. I thought you were completely gonna wipe me at that post, point. Post game conversation for yes. all the people that just skipped to end game thoughts, like final thoughts. They just wanted to know what we think. So about we're this game. we're two two today. First thing to note, yeah. my my spirits are definitely higher than all they right. were before in the day. If you've watched to this point, you're you're kind of interested in who we are and what we do. Just for the record, <laughs> I live in Kentucky. I used to live in Washington D.C. Jan still lives in Washington D.C. Yes. Uh, he is my official co-host for the show. We do podcasts and a bunch of other stuff. He does writing and stuff on the website. Mm -hmm. Check out the Patreon if you're really interested in behind the scenes stuff. This is our one month, once a month weekend excursion where I drive him down from. DC just to beat me at games to play as many and film as many games as we can for you the community and then I drive him back up literally tomorrow so it's a 38 hour period or so mm -hmm. that we still have to sleep during uh, <laughs> we're on this is our eighth or ninth video of the day ninth we've had a good time eighth. today yeah eighth. I won the first two games by a landslide he was so like angry. eviscerated like, me it's so embarrassing miserable. it's embarrassing and the last two games You've, they've I been, came back. They've been good games. Yeah, they've I came back. Games. Let's talk about Sorcerer, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm very happy I have this game. <laughs> no, it's a great, it's like, a great game. Right, the things, let me pinpoint the things that I find really, really interesting mm -hmm. about this game. Now, first off, one critique. One negative thing that I think we've felt about this game from the very first time we've played it. Go ahead. It is, it is punchy and swingy, and there are cards in here that do dumb, powerful things. Yes. And if you're on the receiving end of that... It doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good. No, not If all. you're the one doing it... Feels amazing. That feels amazing. Yeah. That's a critique. Genuinely, mm -hmm. that is a critique. If you can't stand getting wiped, like, having your card that just scratches my guy to death, like, that sucks. Like, that's a, that's a dirty card. You know what I mean? That is. Like, yeah, no, When it comes to game mechanics, like, mm -hmm. that's a mean card. But that meanness is experienced on both ends. Like, I also have things that are just kind of a dick. Mm -hmm. uh, so that beyond, if you can get past that element of this, the way your characters get customized and built, the asymmetric properties, it's not deep enough. I don't like deck construction games. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't find them really interesting and fascinating and I couldn't enjoy them. I, I can enjoy the hell out of them. They take so much time and knowledge to build a deck that feels real and, and visceral, like you can play it, like you achieve something. Mm -hmm. and we always Google and always find people who've spent the time to figure out a really interesting yes. mechanical solution. And those are fun, but we don't do the deck construction. Yeah, they're part. not they're not for us. This takes that and simplifies it down into a three-tiered process. I feel like I can understand the decks or even any of the expansion mm -hmm. decks enough from the descriptions, from the from the imagery to get what I'm mixing together. Mm -hmm. Like, if I want to do something that is, like, the demonology, like, their principle is they're going to work on casting flames. They're going to try to light things on fire and have people burn to death at the end of a round. That's cool. Now I can think about the region or the location or the person that I want to pair that archetype to. Mm -hmm. from, the, from the very first time I experienced this game, back when you first pulled it in through Kickstarter, that's been the thing. That, combined with the art, has been the thing that has sold me on this game. Yeah. Uh, I really do think that is fascinating, and this this was a fun game. This was a this whole round, even though I lost, like I had a good time watching you win. <laughs> I, I I have to say I don't feel that way sometimes when you're winning, but it's I true. appreciate it. It's true. Um, What's your thoughts on this? I think I think that the way that they approach deck construction is so very novel. I'm I'm not sure if it's innovative. Like I, I'm I'm sure it exists somewhere. But but I haven't seen it. Like, the idea of grabbing pieces, like, just grab three blocks and then mash those blocks together, and there you go, you have a full working professional deck on your, in your that hands. And they all merge. They work perfectly I'm with each sure other. I'm sure there's balance elements. Like, I'm sure mm -hmm. that, like, there's probably Reddit threads that there's a perfect combination out what there. What the best combination mm -hmm. is, that, I don't care. For somebody that's playing this yeah. casually right now, it just feels so nice. Yeah. yeah, there's no, there's no brain, there's no brain burning there's no hours upon staring up a, a, a card trying to determine what the best possible strategy is you just grab three things and you're set, set to go it gives you the narrative it yep. gives you the feeling it gives you everything you need and above all as you said i feel that the mechanics that each of these decks have is s sufficiently accessible that anybody could play this. here's here's the other cool thing that it does the keywords and the key phrases mm -hmm. and the action abilities because they're tied to a personal deck and they work within a theme like for instance casting flame Casting Flame is a unique trait. It is unique to the specific deck, the Demonology deck that I got. And most decks have a unique trait or something like that that carries with them. But because you're only dealing with a few of them at a time, 
there are a lot in this game, but you don't have to memorize or figure out mm -hmm. all of them as you're playing. You're never dealing with every single one of these unique asymmetric properties, and that also makes it way more accessible and way easier to learn. All we had to do was study up on the decks we were going to pick, yep. and then we were ready to roll. Mm -hmm. Genuinely, there's another set of decks. Like We could have mixed these in a whole different way. Mm -hmm. The experience would have been different. The gameplay would have been different. Structured the same, but different. Just changing one of the modules. Uh, and we would have learned other keywords and other terms. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, it's 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 nice that it kind of like uh, what would be the term here? It gives everything in small chunks. I, I think it makes it welcoming. Um, the next thing I want to touch on, and, and it's almost like a two prong uh, comment. First of all, I love the idea of having a spa spatial element within a trading card game or within a competitive sure. card game. Sure, a competitive right? card game, yeah, because this is a unique feature to a competitive card game. Like, we've seen it before in Omen, for example, but it doesn't feel that, like this. There's not I this level of control. I wouldn't classify something like, uh, something like Omen or... What's the one from... Uh, what's what's the, the evil one? Crimson Crimson Company? I wouldn't, I wouldn't classify... I wouldn't classify something like Omen or Crimson Company... Crimson... 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 Crimson Company. That one. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't classify those as competitive card games, though, in the same sense. Yeah, exactly. They, they have hand management. They, they also have, have the three some, battlefields. Like, draw and drafting, and they have mm -hmm. the three battlefields, but this, because of the way it mixes, because of the heaviness to it, All the levers is much are there more in line in each with one. your Pokemon, your magic, mm -hmm. your cards that, that you really do you really do yep. deck construction with. And and I think that's fascinating, because you, you'd expect that you know competitive card games are complex enough as it is. The yeah. idea that you're going to have to, and this is the second prong that I was mentioning, uh, that you're going to have to kind of risk assess and understand where the best portions of, of like where yeah. where you see like these small slivers of opportunity, either because of cards that you have in your hand, because you you noticed that an opponent wasn't really paying attention to this because they were just too focused on one battlefield. For instance, down here in the middle battlefield, I should have probably played my heavier end demon up in the top, so he was ready to go mm -hmm. because I didn't need him to defeat. I was uncontested. Era. Yeah. Completely right, yeah. um, and that just that that ability and that balance just is is kind of surprising coming from the level of card play that exists here. Um, these abilities I feel are synonymous with other competitive card games, right? Like they're not reduced or simplified yep. or, yep. or dumbified uh, so. in order to make three simultaneous areas of conflict work out. But I don't know. It feels excessive. It feels approachable, yeah. um, and never something that's too daunting. And I think that's a, a that's a big commendation in the in whoever started working in the game theory and the and the mechanics behind this. Like, how do you make how do you make three simultaneous battles happen? Mm -hmm. Three separate games at the same time mm -hmm. all work together. I think and that's pretty impressive. Another thing that is that we did not display here. Mm -hmm. This plays up to four player. Yeah, so you're battling two people at the same time. It's important. Like, that is something that other competitive card games cannot do. Not, yeah. not equivalently. Like, you have... I know you have some modes in Magic that have been created to allow you sure. to do that, but... You, two had a Dragon, are, I think, or something like that. You are deep in Magic when you're there, and, yep. and I applaud all of you that are into that. I, I would love to try yeah, it at some point, mm -hmm. but that's a degree of commitment that... I just I can't function on. Give me a deck and I'll play it. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> and so this lets this lets you experience that. Lets other gamers experience that without having to be so far into the community. Mm -hmm. And finally, the Kickstarter that's going on right now. I mean, you're watching this because of that. Adding solo and adding a cooperative mode to yeah. this broadens the scope for what you can do with this game. Uh, and I'm I'm really excited to see the type of creatures that they put up against you when it comes to a automated system or an automated deck. I know I know White Wizard Games has a has a good history of design. Oh yeah, Hero Realm, Star Realms, just ugh. designing and crafting card Crazy. games. Yeah, like that's where they've made. It's their, their wheelhouse, man, and they're really um, good at it. So I'm I'm super excited to be able to play. What Another thing that I like to mention here is mention it. <laughs> you 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 kind of caught me for uh, for a loop Say there. It, Jim. Um, I want to commend the level of world building that's been imbued Are into you talking about just the artwork. No, not just the artwork. Because I'm talking about the artwork. Like the level of world building that's in here because of the what the artwork invokes. I because... wasn't going to mention it until like the end. I'm glad we're mentioning it here at the end because like you don't want to take a game that is strategically mm -hmm. rich and deep and fun to play and boil it down to this is a really pretty game. But oh my gosh, it's it's more thematic than anything else to it me. At least so it feels so cool because as you're playing your spider deck, mm -hmm. I'm looking at those cards. I'm looking at the artwork there, and I'm going, no, <laughs> squish, no, thank you. No, 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 it'd be more like, <laughs> and you like pat him on the head. Oh. Yeah, no, and 
what I like about it is that it really does, and, and again, I'm saying this because it's a card game. Yep. This isn't, it doesn't have a lot, but it feels like dueling wizards, and I, mean, I think that's really impressive. I had trouble finding flavor text, mm -hmm. which, I mean, seriously, add some flavor text, not just on the back of the box. But that being said, <laughs> I had trouble finding flavor text, but I knew it had to exist because of how deep and rich this lore and, and theme feels like it is. Mm-hmm. Just throwing that out there. Just, I feel the biggest storytelling tool that they have is just the I, the concept of yeah. tying three cards together and suddenly you are a person. You are a living, breathing they make sorcerer name. or sorceress inside of this world. They took the time to make sure that these cards weren't just demonology, uh, you know, Melista, what's her name? Mes M M M M Mesilda. Mes Mesilda or something that like one. that, yeah. Uh, and the Forgotten Temple. They, they took the time to add the and of the above. Mm -hmm. that, means, that means they cared about being able to title and ascribe your name to yourself. Yeah, and, and, and I feel that that helps much. That the idea of that is that it also puts the person in a certain perspective to play mm -hmm. the game yeah. because you are embodying the sorcerer hence you're trying to really understand how those spells play out yeah. like i feel it sets you it sets a better tone for players so all that being said jen mm -hmm. despite my criticism of their being super powerful probably not that fun take that elements that you can experience on both sides of this game uh, and clearly the display of dice rolling being an element there is dice mitigation though plenty uh, of it you're right you're right <laughs> You're all right, yeah. <laughs> uh, just not when I play. <laughs> that any other any other heavy critiques you have with this, like other than it, other than those two elements. I know those are the things we've talked about mm -hmm. off camera, but <sighs> shit, you you caught me there. Um, another heavy critique. You don't have to have one. Apparently, he's got no other heavy critique. No, hey, no, that not fair. Not fair. We have times where we can think. Gosh darn it! This is ca ca catching me by surprise. Are you gonna let me think or? I mean, I'm thinking no. You're not gonna let me think, are you? Thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate you sticking tuned to the end here. Uh, I hope you've had as good of a time watching this as we have playing it. Uh, if you made it to this part. And if you haven't yet. Quack. Whatever you do though, remember to do the important no thing. No push at all. Get out and play some games. Oh my gosh. We'll, we'll see, see you, you guys time. next time. Thank you. <laughs>